Disclaimer, modify your figure at your own risk. This is just me filming myself doing what I'm doing. And if it helps you, it helps you. The following content isn't intended for viewers under the age of 13. Hello, everyone. T-Man978. Last time I messed with this guy on my, or my last video, I was showing you how to fix the shoulder, which isn't really broken. You just had to reverse it, but you probably already saw that. Now, what I want to do is use my soldering tool and see if I can give him more ab crunch than that. Because that's sad. Now, unlike these other jazzware involved figures, where the, the ab joint right there is actually in the waist. So they all have, he has a cover just like they have right here. So you pop that into there. What makes this difficult is you see this is the wrong angle. Some of their figures, this is actually instead of it being turned this way, it's turned the reverse way and it would lend itself for better ab articulation if you could solder this down good enough. But because it's so low, it makes it difficult to actually do anything because you'll have to cut away at too much of that. I pulled this one apart. I kind of made his better. I was able to shave away at that because it's a little bit higher, but Still wasn't able to get the results I wanted, to be honest. This guy, and let me just show you everything. If you try to bend him forward too much, it's just going to pop. The post in his body is way further up. So, and as you saw, let me put this back on. This front part right here is covering a lot of that. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut down, but make sure I don't cut like way beyond that. So let's just pop that up. I'm gonna cut basically a ton of this and the width of that post right there. This soldering tool was suggested to me by Life with Brock. He inspired me to start trying to do some of this myself to fix my figures up when I have small problems. And I am not a professional customizer at all. I just use the tools to get what I need done and it, and it works. This is what I've been using off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. To show you this as well, this connection right here is what's holding the whole body together. Like I said, that other part is just a cover. All right, so this Dremel tool comes with several drill and bit sizes. This will probably make, yeah. You know what? This would probably be quicker, but I don't want the hole to be too big. I'm going with this one right here. And I'm gonna try to keep all this on camera, but I can't promise you anything. If you want to be extra careful to your hands, I suggest like using something else <laughs> that you have lying around to hold it so that your fingers won't be anywhere near this once it turns on. What I've been doing, and maybe I should pay attention to Brock more, I'll sand down and then try to clean out the area so I can see what I'm doing because a lot of that plastic tries to cling on to it. I'm gonna try to make that a little bit more even on this side and then see if I even need to cut down even, cut down here even further. Let's see if I even, I might have did enough. I 
Might have did enough to you. Get it to be able to maneuver down. Not really. doesn't look like I don't know whether I have to bring all of this down as well that's what it's starting to seem like um, when I'm bending it it feels like that's interfering as well alright I don't have any regular sanding paper but if this works how I'm thinking it's supposed to be working then I should be able to use this to lower that down. I'm going to try to do one side first and then go to the other side. You know what? When I was trying to bend it forward, I think this was giving me the most restriction. So I might mess with that more, to be honest. At this moment, I'm going to suggest you probably should be wearing a mask and maybe some eye gear. Because I say mask because these little particles that are coming up are very tiny and fine. Unlike when I was drilling down the, the middle of the abdomen. But honestly, these tools I got are pretty cheap. And they're working like way better than I ever imagined. Everything I try to use. Yeah, now he has more back mobility. I see that. But still coming forward. And I also run the risk of making him a little bit too loose. Yeah, I'm trying to see what I can do. I don't want, I want to just be able to easily do it. I mean, I can do this without, now that I sanded that down, it does make his back come out. I'm gonna have to do the front more. Yeah, I think that I'm satisfied. I'm definitely satisfied with the back. Coming forward. That's about good enough. I mean, you run the risk because now that there's nothing holding that ball joint from getting out of there, you run the risk the more you push it to pulling that out of the socket. Yeah, I think I'm cool with that. All right, to do a full recap on this, the main thing that's stopping it from being able to hinge forward, besides not having all that plastic that was blocking the joint that's coming down, basically, mostly too, it's, it was all the plastic that was lifted up underneath of here. See, like even right now, when I go back, it kind of wants to hit that. Before I sanded it down, all of that was in the way so this is his neutral back right here and let me let you see how far you can go well 
before you couldn't go forward too much so you wouldn't see any of this gappiness but yeah I took it down even further so I can get past all of this plastic smoother and without aggravation but well, here's one thing to note this plastic right here scuffs easily I mean the rest of his armor has this scuff paint on it so it comes with the territory I guess so you will be digging in there but now that I've cut that tunnel right there I can tilt forward and lean him and do all the poses if you depending on how far you tilt it you might pop it out of the socket but there we go I can tilt it forward and rotate and whatnot which is cool so I'm satisfied even this rotation is a little bit easier without that and it definitely goes back so I'm good but anywho like I said Dremel tool that I use gonna be a link in the description it's gonna be my own personal Amazon associate link so any purchase you make on there helps out the channel by because the money can go towards me buying toys that I don't normally buy most of the stuff I review I want for my collection so I end up buying it so I don't try to kill myself buying random crazy stuff to just for review because I'm probably going to have to review that crap and send it back or sell it immediately and I don't want to start doing all that but um anything that you purchase after you click the link in the description or if you click my specific Amazon link that's down there maybe you can make that a bookmark on your your PC or laptop and every time you want to go to Amazon on your PC or laptop you go through that bookmark and you click that first and any purchase you make helps out my channel but anyhow thank you for watching this until next time T man 978 out of here join the syndicate toy hunters facebook group link in the description click click the videos click the in videos baby click click the videos you should really click these videos click click the videos click the in videos baby click click the videos you really should click those videos click that shit